Wow. We lost another legend today. I would like to give my condolences to um, Jerry West and his family, the Laker legend, Clippers executive, um, just an all-out person that has spent most of all of his pretty much life in um, basketball, um, I don't know nobody that has played ball on a pretty, you know, a collegiate level or that don't have nothing good to say about the logo. I always heard the story about... Um, you know, that was during the time when we had, uh, who was it, Hank Ramos? No, Al McGuire and guys, bef um, uh, uh, guys before that. Um, I guess when the Lakers would come and play the Milwaukee Bucks back in the day, they used to use Dominican High School as the gym um, to practice in. And I, I always think about the story that my brother told me uh, about just how good of a Clipper that he was, I mean, a, a Laker, that my brother's idol was Wilt Chamberlain. And, you know, he thought he could be seven feet if he just thought it and kept playing. And um, he said that the story he tells about uh, the two, the contrast in the two personalities, and I believe one of them is from Virginia, I believe that's where um, uh, uh, Wes is from. But to make a long story short, my brother said he couldn't wait because he was, you know, all in all everything in high school and prep, prep players of the week. And, you know, he was scholarships to Division I um, school. But I remember him telling the story about meeting both of these guys, because they, again, practice at the uh, facility. And then he goes, he went up to Wilt Chamberlain and say, hi, hi, Wilt, how you doing? You know, and uh, I'm, my name is so-and-so, so-and-so. And he said he didn't get a chance to get it all the way out. And Wilt Chamberlain said, get out of my face. <laughs> get out of my face. And uh, my brother said he was just broke off. He was sick. And he said, but who showed him love was uh, Jerry West. And he was a lover of Jerry West his whole lifetime. And my brother is an older guy now. Um, but he's a, a Wisconsin legend in terms of basketball. But Jerry West was a guy that he said that was not only brilliant on the court shooting the ball, but he he had a humanitarian as, uh, side to him. And I guess that's that same side that you saw with Zoe Williams and Bobby Glanton Smith. Um, they would bring him on KTLA. And he'd talk about, you know, the young men going into the basketball uh, realm and, just what he, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, just what he, you know, why he stayed in the game so long, <coughs> and, um, you know, just things like that, and he shared his knowledge with them, shared his expertise with them, and that's pretty much the story I get from everybody that has ever crossed paths with him is that he was truly a genuine guy. And you would think coming from the place he came from, whether it was Kentucky or Virginia, one of those that back then, I mean, Jim Crow time, <laughs> pretty much that, but that was not the case. He was always a fair guy, and I've always gotten fair stories about our vanilla brother, Jerry West. 
So I want to say rest in power. You've done your job. You've touched a lot of lives. And even those of us who are seniors now, and remember you playing the game, we understand why they used you for the logo because you had that little twist to your body, which I'm, we've never seen the likes of it since. Um, rest in power, Jerry. And my condolences to your family. Wow. I was thinking he was so responsible for so much stuff. Drafting Kobe Bryant, getting him the pick from the Charlotte Hornets. I mean, this guy, and he's such a great executive. The way he sets up the teams, well, we don't want to go into that. This man got a, a history, a history on the hardwood. Rest in power, Jerry. Well done. Good and faithful servant. Basketball legend. 